Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and welcome back to You Already Know What This Is. We're back again with the Moriko Challenge because we got fucking dunked on. Uh, Katru? Me and Katrutsu? <laughs> Sorry, it's... Insomnia's hit kind of bad right now. It do be six in the morning right now. But listen, that's when I'm cooking, okay? It means the rest of my day is going to be fucking miserable. Horrible, even. But you already know I'm cooking in this episode. You already know that I'm above the stove, stirring the pot. It's got onions in it. It's got um, other things in it. I'm in the kitchen with onions. That's the important part. That's the only thing that you really need to know. And this is on a need-to-know basis. So... You already know I'm chillin' with, uh, I watched my friend play the Sonic Frontiers DLC, like, a few nights ago, and the soundtrack is so fucking good, and I just love the, the themes for all the characters, like, Bloodflow and fucking uh, whatever Tails' theme is, swearing within the first minute, and I'm gonna be monetized soon? Ugh, I can't do that. I can't do that, brother. I can't do that. I can't do that, sister. Absolutely not. So, we gotta cut back. We gotta dial back the swearing. You know, we're gonna be monetized soon. We got the the 1,000 subscriber. I got approved for the thingy. The only thing that I'm waiting for is I want there to actually be, like, an offering. So, I commissioned an artist to do a badge and some emotes. And so, once that's dropped, we're gonna... We're, we're turning on the fucking floodgates, and I'm gonna get that... I'm gonna get that can of Pinto beans every month. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. Um, so we got knowledge, we got dexterity, we got charisma, and then we got light source, and then we got strength! This is everything! This is everything, you know? It's just everything. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, I actually did just end a recording session. This is the completely wrong button. It's light source and Takashi, that's the only thing I need to remember. No seconds, by the way, it's pretty cool. I just finished a recording session of the... So, I'm pretty sure it's official. Like, I sent the DM to Josephine... Like, uh, like 15, 10 minutes ago, five minutes ago, probably like three minutes ago, actually. My sense of time is completely warped. I sent that DM to her, basically saying, like, hey, you edited episode one. Uh, episode one is uh, pretty good. It made me laugh, made me chuckle. Uh, there was one bit, especially, I wonder if you can guess which part it was that really got me. So I watched it, and I thought it was funny. I was like, all right. You know, here's the thing. When I'm staring down the barrel of a social blade and I'm like, oh, wait, I could actually, like, get, like, grocery money from doing this every day. Holy shit, that's amazing. Like, I, like once a month I could get groceries. Uh, <laughs> I was like, maybe I should just hit the monetization button. And I'm like, no, 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 you gotta, you gotta have something in return. You gotta have funny emotes. You gotta have the... F it's look who it is. Hey, look, Pa, I'm on TV. Uh, you, you, you gotta have something to offer. You know, you gotta have funny emotes. Two of them are done already. They're very cute. Uh, they're, they're very cute. They look good. Can't wait to see the other two. It's gonna be four emotes, and it's gonna be a badge. So, we're gonna get a badge, and then if somebody actually subscribes to the membership, then that would mean I'll have to commission the artist to actually make more badges because they level up. But you, you just have the one badge as a base, and then after people hit a subscriber milestone as a member, then that's when they that that's when they get the upgraded badge, you know? Do I think anybody's gonna do that? No. But here's the thing, you know, the most requested thing that I've ever gotten from doing this is do World of Horror tutorial videos. And I did one for the Blue Gem Riddle. It was it was good. I think it was a good video. I think that was cooking. I should do more though. For sure, there's so many misconceptions. Somebody was telling me on how, like, Reddit, people are saying Toshiaki is bad and, like, cookbook is really hard. Like, the cookbook challenge is really hard. It's like, just get bookstrap. Cookbook counts towards bookstrap. Just win the game, you know? It's, it's not that bad. So, uh, you know, I stand by that. But, uh, you know, I, I should do more tutorial videos, obviously. I recognize that there's a there's a lack of good World of Horror tutorials. There's some World of Horror tips and tricks videos, for sure. But, you know, it's... It, th this is arrogance. But probably a good idea for somebody with almost 900 hours in the game to make a video telling you what you should and shouldn't do. 
Because I've been there, I've done that, I've done all the stupid shit, you know? I, I, I vaguely know what I'm doing. Speaking of books, we got two of them. Not anymore, now we just got one, but... Ooh, Seaside's dangerous? Okay. So when Seaside's dangerous, you, you normally want to wait uh, until you actually have to go to Seaside for the Eerie Eels investigation, like the mystery itself. And the reason why you want to do that is in case you have to switch the police station around multiple times, because you want... If the location is doomed and you have access to police station, you should put the police station on the doomed location. And so it's just good practice for the most part, because if you go there early, then you swap the police station over, and then you're going through the mystery, right? And it's like, let's say the, um, well, I mean, the school was doomed, right? And we had to go to the school once. So let's say you start off the mystery, you, you go, you want to go to the seaside. So you go to the police station, you put the police on there, you go there once. And so now you got to go there a second time for the story, but then the story's telling you to go to the school, and school's doomed. So then you move it over to the school, and then you have to move it back. Or you could just do it at the end. The only problem with that, uh, the only issue with that, is that for the second seaside investigation, the reason why you do it early normally is so that you have 100% Kana coverage, Kana uptime. Because Kana leaves you when you investigate the seaside as a part of the story, Okay. So that's why you you normally would do it the other way around. You'd, you'd go to the seaside once, basically as your first investigation. But with this, you want to do them at the end together because then you don't have to swap the police station over. And so you feel pretty good about that. You can just go to the seaside twice. You feel pretty good about that. Uh, now, unfortunately, it doesn't really quite work here because, I mean, it does. Technically, it saves us 2% doom still because we don't, or not 2% doom. It saves us 1% doom because we don't have to swap it around 80 million times. Uh, but we do have to switch it back to the school. So it still saves you a little doom because you're swapping it like one less time, but it, it still, it, it specifically when the seaside is doomed, that's the only time you have to think about this. It's a small optimization you can make that saves you like, I mean, technically it's, say, eh, it's, it's a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird, it's a little bit weird, but it is, it's an optimization. And so it's probably a good idea if some, if homeboy like me, uh, makes a video on it because I, I I do know what I'm talking about, you know, just a little bit, just just a just a little bit. I know a little bit about what I'm saying. I've I've been there. I've done that. Now we will go ahead and just go ahead and get that corpse dust to really do like uh, leveling up. Three broken bottles and a fucking briefcase. So we, we do have to switch it back, but, you know, it, it's not ideal. Ideally, it wouldn't be the school that was doomed. It would be, like, the apartments or something, so you wouldn't have to... It would save you 2% doom instead of 1%. It's whatever. It's not a big deal. It's it's really not. I mean, so this is going to do 7, and we can't follow that up with anything. So can we block an attack? Maybe? Not really reliably, no. So we might as well just guarantee that he's dead. And uh, we take a little sanity damage. Tomato, tomato. You know, you gotta, you gotta bite the bullet a couple of times. Now, admittedly, sanity damage on top of sanity damage is a slippery slope. You could slide down there, and you know, sometimes when you're going down a slippery slope, you're carrying a baby penguin to its mom. But other times, you're you're gonna die uh, because it's not OSHA compliant. And so, you know, now. It's every stat check known to man. Every single one. Every single one, every single stat check known to man. So, you look at something like this, you're like, eh, plus one charisma, maybe it's not the best in the world, but, you know, you, you can you can put it there. You could also take out Doorsman. And I think that's my, that, that's probably what we're gonna do. Because the thing about Outdoorsman is that it saves us two sanity in the forest versus getting charisma up to eight, which saves us two sanity in the lighthouse. Three sanity, two sanity, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna pretend to know. If it changed to where the number is actually, like, it says minus two, it does minus two. Great, awesome, cool, wonderful even. Um, oh yeah, if we get roads closed, we just lose, by the way. <laughs> it's just real. That's just normal. It's completely normal, it's completely fine. It's just how the game works. I mean, you hate that. I just, you know, I, I got my sanity back up. It was really nice. It felt really good. What spell do we have? Garbage? Okay. Garbage and garbage? Holy crap. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll go here twice. I almost wanted to make it safe. Uh, just as a treat. But the, the mansion's pretty decent. 
Like, yeah, there's a few cadavers in here, but there's also some really good player events, you know? And that's actually one of the cadavers that we don't really care about. What god do we have? This one? Okay. We can rest. That's fine. Do we care about this being dangerous? Mm, not really. If we're gonna go into Violent Vigil next, we should put this on the mansion just because, but, like, it's not really... Going from low to safe is really good, don't get me wrong, but... Eh, no way you're gonna eat that. That's fine. Now, forest is low threat level. It's pretty worrisome, I guess. We'll trip on a branch. I'm a little bit concerned about what we got going on here, but I, th I think we're just kind of in for a nice little cruise. You know, it's playing Moriko, but you're missing out on one of the better parts being Moriko. It's fine. Let's just focus on our stats. Let's just focus on getting the getting the run up and going. 32% Doom Mystery 2 is a little sketchy. Uh, just with how it's been going, but we're gonna make it a little bit more sketchy because we're gonna go into Vigil next and I'm a little bit worried about our Doom. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Broken Bone? We can go into Vigil with a Broken Bone. If we get Coughing Blood, we're gonna cry ourselves to sleep, but, you know, sometimes you get a little owned. Now, this has been a pretty bad mystery for us. And again, if you get Roads Closed, it's over. You see Roads Closed here, you wanna die. Time skips pretty bad too, but... At least it won't kill us at the end. It'll kill us at the beginning. So we at least have a, a chance to forget that it happened and then be like, oh, time skip? Or, or no, we get to the end of the run and it's like, oh, thank God we didn't get time skip. This is kind of a weird one. I'm going to put the inspiring novel away because we don't need it. Not for this mystery. Do we take the 6% doom? I don't know if we do. I, I think we might just skip. Speaking of skipping, I wish we could skip this combat encounter because it's pretty bad. So two, four, I mean, we can do five, sure. You're, you're still feeling pretty bad about this one. Like just getting hit once, you, you, you kind of want to cry yourself to sleep at night. Ugh. Three, four, five, don't miss. Now, we definitely want to get the Vigil Pamphlet. I think we skip the fights. The EXP is nice, but I think we skip the fights for, for sure. Now, feed the plant in the study with blood. I think uh, you get minus three there. You go Doom Neutral. I think that's pretty good. But I think for the rest of it, you, you got to skip the first fight. I think you got to skip the first fight. I think that's totally fair. Billeth Maze is uh, pretty good, actually. I'm, I'm not going to complain at all. I actually think that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Now, we're not doing bonus, so... You know, you're kind of upset about missing that, but... Can't try to go for the cheeky kill here, so... You know, you just got to do what you got to do. You, you, when you're making the mother of all omelets, you can't worry about cracking a few... Uh, few billy mazes We're, this is the only human enemy here this is the it's the only human it, he's the only human enemy here huh oh this is midnight okay <laughs> i was about to say like huh yeah sure it's not gonna be funny mask so who cares right i'm if it's funny mask you gotta kurikosa mask is not as good you, you, you motherfucker we didn't skip the first fight what went wrong oh no I mean, this is one of those rare situations where you kind of think about, like, dodging, and you're like, am I th this much of a degenerate where you want to optimize, like, one stamina damage? And you're like, yeah, yeah, I am, I am him. I am this much of a fucking degenerate. I deserve to miss that 90% chance and cry myself to sleep, honestly. I think that would have been fair. Now, here's the deal. What stat do we want to try to go after? Well, we're terribly sorry. We've lost Emmerdale. Ah, uh, you know, you gotta do a little Emmerdale once in a while just to keep you on your toes. So Charisma is more reliable because we're getting the plus one from leadership eventually. So we could get it up to six pretty decently. I think that's a pretty good argument, honestly. Strength is just the better stat, though, and it helps us in every combat that we do. And just doubling down on knowledge is pretty good, too. I think we're gonna go Charisma, though. I think that's fine. I, I genuinely think that's okay. I think that works out. Y you really can't underestimate the lighthouse, right? Like, you get to the end of the game, you don't have any resources at that point. 
If you have any resources at the end of the game, you've either guaranteed one or you've already lost, right? And so I think it's completely reasonable to think to yourself, okay, resources, I don't have them. Because here's the thing, we, we get owned in a fight here or something, right? And it goes bad. We have tools that we can use to recover. At the end of the game, though, you don't have any access to the town. You're locked out of it. You've probably gotten contaminated water at this point. I wasn't paying attention to whatever the fuck the town status was, and I didn't need to. But, like, you know what I mean? You, you know what I'm saying? Right? Does that... Does, does any of it make sense? Where it's like... You know, you, you look at something like this, and you're just like... We don't have the resources that we might need to make it happen. It's so bad to sell the PC. It's so bad to sell the PC. I, 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 I'm gonna hate getting ending C on that mystery. Dream Devourer. I mean, we, we can do that one last, why not? Just because Bulletin has some out of town uh, village components here that we can, we can try to work around now. But listen, like, you just, you don't have any resources at the end of the game. You don't have access to anything you do now. So it's just like, I like playing around the lighthouse. It might be bad for, like, what we're currently doing, but I think it works. I think it does. I think it does. Oh, hell yeah, we just rolled a five. You fucking love to see that. We do have to go to the forest twice. It's a low threat level location, thank god. So we don't really have to worry about it that much. We can take, like, one round of combat from this guy. I do want to get out of this as quickly as possible, though. So I think you do something like that. And then you just pray to god? I think you do that. I think we take those. Daddy's girl is really strong, but I think I gotta... I, I think I gotta... I made my bet, I gotta lie in it. We might never see... We might never see leadership again. You gotta take it. And hey, the thing is, like, getting a stat up to 7 and 8 is not bad. Like, that's not a bad thing. At all. Three sanity, we kill the boss. Sure, sure, because we can forget the- we can forget this, so it's like we took two damage. That's okay. It's not ideal. It's not what I wanted, but, eh, it is what it is. I think we could do a little- Ooh, look at that! Outdoorsman coming in clutch. It's look who it is. Paying off. Just gotta play it safe, play it cool. I don't think this is worth it because it's doom. We get play I I don't I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it. Like if we get Ito Park, sure, obviously. But like I'm not I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. That's four percent doom, brother. I can't do that. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rest. Then we're gonna go to the monument. You can have whatever you want. You can have whatever you want, even if it's sanity. I would like nothing more than to give it to you. And then we're going back, we're resting. We gained, we did gain. Now I want you to take stamina. That would be fantastic. Oh, can't do that, buddy. It's pretty bad, pretty bad, but not, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. It's a little sketchy though. Now, we are taking it down to low threat level because we're a little bit scared about, uh, it's a human bone! Whoa! Uh, no, no, you just, we, we have health, leverage it. Just, just leverage the health that you have. Okay, now we do have to block here, that is true. Because we do not have the attack speed, we are not him. Well, I suppose we're playing Moriko, so that makes sense why we're not him. Uh, yeah, give me a broken bottle. I don't want the forest note in my inventory. We actually should be trying to leverage as much stamina as possible, because we have the lump of flesh, which I totally didn't forget about, by the way. Hello? Barking dog alert? Hello? Is it look who it is? It's look? Hold on one moment. No need for an Emmerdale when I can slide back into frame. It's look who it is to today's episode. Feet. Dog. It's look who it is. Yeah, just chillin'. 
Uh, what are we doing here? Uh, yeah, this one, right? Oh. Uh, we're, we're dead. <laughs> okay, listen, if the game wants to kill me through broken bones, I can't deny it. Because that's kind of funny. I'll be honest with you. That would be kind of a funny way to die. Through three broken bones in a row. Maybe we'll take quick thinking, if we haven't already, just to try to prevent that from happening. Make us cough up a little blood, you know? Make make the game work for it. Oh, hey, look, road's closed. Just making its cameo appearance that uh, we were all we were all waiting for. Okay, so this is final mystery. It's look who it is. It's the inspiring novel time. It is. It's true. Now, is it really gonna help us out? No, we actually got pretty lucky with the mystery layouts, you know. So I'm not really worried about it. What I am worried about is the fact that we're going to the school. And the school is dangerous. And our sanity is five. It's also pretty bad, admittedly. 79% uh, doom. It's doable. We just can't get vital clue. We get vital clue, we're done. You get vital clue. It's over. Pack your bags. GG well played. Uh, that sort of thing. Oh, we're slow as fuck because of the broken bones. <laughs> okay, fair enough. We got a lump of flesh. It's fine. It's fine. It's a lump of flesh. It's what it's there for. You know? It's why we have it. Hey, deft handling. Look at that. All right, I'll take quick thinking. Just just as a treat, go ahead and take that. You know, maybe maybe you can justify um, uh, having something else on you at the time of writing. Do we just take the minus three? I mean, I'm a little I'm a little bit sketchy. We could get our broken bone fixed, but why would we when we can just level dexterity? Oh fuck. Okay. Um, I'm a little bit nervous here. I got a lump of flesh. It's fine. No need to overreact. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a spell we can forget. Why not? Oh, shit. Uh, okay, it's fine. We have a spell we can forget. Safe location. Very hard for it to kill us. Okay, very hard for it to kill us. It's getting a little easier for the game to kill us. Just, just a teeny tiny bit easier for the game to kill us. Okay, you're dead. Because this is gonna do exactly enough to kill you. I've been through here before. Actually, it's doing a lot more. Uh, okay, so first first of all, um, for, first of all, we're just gonna do that. I'm just gonna do that. Just do that tireless bonus. Me and tireless Rutsu. Uh, now, we are taking minus six, but we have a lump of flesh. It's okay. It's still good. It's still good. Now, we can't take any sanity damage from the lighthouse. That's true. So we should just buff stamina. Now, we need to eat this. It's holes. Okay, we don't care. We're good. We're good. We're good. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We're good. We're completely fine. We're sh moving on through here. We've got a light source. We've got eight charisma. We're just okay. Now, strength and dexterity, that's going to hurt a lot. That's minus six. But that's okay. Because we don't need it. We got the health. We got the lump of flesh. We're schmoovin'. We're hanging out. We're having a good time. Oh, look at that. Everything's okay as long as I don't misclick. Which is, yeah, pretty normal, honestly. Um, you know, you, you, you misclick. You're doing a little bit of trolling. The Moriko challenge has been complete. What did we unlock from that? I don't know. But, Dad... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's check. I don't remember off the top of my head. Ah, brain worms. Brain worms is actually uh, an interesting one because it makes, um, or it made, uh, back when Kyrie's bag was good, uh, it made Kyrie's bag a lot worse. Like brain worms existing made Kyrie's bag bad because you would reroll your spell for free, and what ended up happening was you would roll into brain worms which then would cancel out the effect of Kyrie's bag or have like a pretty eh, mediocre effect. Like, eh, it's not very good. Uh, it was okay. And so it basically, the existence of brain worms, like if brain worms was a default thing and it was just in the game, then Kyrie's bag would have been a little bit more balanced on launch. But unfortunately now it's got the plus one doom requirement and it's like, or thing, it's not really a requirement, it's just something that happens. 
And, you know, it's a little bit of a bummer. But thank you so much for watching. My name is Will Weaver. Have a good one. Stay safe out there. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. 82.29% uh, of achievements unlocked. Uh, once we do the chat, once we're finished with the challenges, I think we're probably just going to have to do a live stream, getting some of the more annoying ones where it's like, dress up in a ritual robe and Kurakosa mask while doing Fear Festival, or I don't want to drink the blood of an otherworldly beast. That doesn't sound like a fun time to me. Stay safe out there. Have a good one. And do not do that. If you find an otherworldly beast, do not drink its blood. Even if you have a mystical goblet, don't do that. Thanks.